Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a Hobbit edition of This Is Our Life. It's not actually a Hobbit edition. I'm becoming concerned that 90% of the people we're inviting to the wedding aren't going to show up. I mean, I understand, like, Mrs. Hunt, she's 80, okay, I, I can understand her not showing up, I guess, I guess. Two of my aunties are in nursing homes, so I can, I definitely understand them not being able to make it. I definitely understand my mom not being, my mother not being able to make it. But you know, one of my cousins whom I thought we had sent her invitation, we actually have it. We printed it out and everything. We just didn't send it's got it. Got misplaced. Yeah, it got misplaced. So I mean, that's going to be sent. This is we don't have any money right now. We can't. We, no money, no food. No money, no stamps. You know, I mean, um, Dave, he said he's going to be there. Dave Ellis. Um, you know, my, my cousin down in Georgia, Don, he said he's not going to be able to make it. His mom isn't going to be able to make it. No, I understand that. Um, you, you know, I mean, if people lived closer to us, then I would be a little more... Um, if people lived closer and they said they weren't going to make it, I would be... I'd probably be upset. It, so it's not that I'm upset that people can't make it. It's just, I'm, I'm concerned about how many people are actually going to be there. You know, um, the thing is, I'm closer to my cousin Jane than I am to my cousin Brian, but we got Brian's invitation out. Um, I talked to Mrs. Hunt today, and, um, Um, excuse me. She said um, that no, she's not going to be able to make it. Well, she's 82 years old. Yeah, and she got thrown for, what was it, last year and the year before, she was thrown from a horse and she's still walking. She better give up on that horse. Yeah, she, she is a horseback rider. She needs a new one. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, I took writing lessons at Kadena Writing Academy, but I didn't actually do much writing. I think that's an unhappy horse she's trying to ride. Yeah, well, one of them, uh, the, the guy had just put a new uh, bit in its oh, mouth. He wasn't happy with that. You know, he had a sore mouth, and he had been throwing his head all day. Uh -huh. And she didn't ride him in the morning. She rode him in the afternoon. Oh, and he's tired. Yeah, and his mouth was sore. So... Uh, he just kind of like. What the hell was this? Yeah, you know, he had had it. And she got on another horse and rode the other horse. Well, oh, she God. got on the horse that the, the owner was riding, uh -huh. which the, is the horse she had ridden that, that morning. And um, and the, the owner of the horse got on the one with the sore mouth. The yeah. unhappy one. Yeah, the unhappy one. Um, but um hey i need some hay <laughs> <laughs> but uh and we still have to print we got we got invitations to print it's not like we don't have people to invite but i just hope that we have more than four or five people show up no we don't we don't can't force them to come that's true 
But, and like I said, I mean, I understand that people don't live that close. You know, if they live... talking about a lot of elderly people, too. Yeah, that's true. We are talking about elderly people. And um, I don't remember my mother's neighbor's names except for Mr. Spees. And, Uncle Frank. Or... Yeah, I hope my Uncle Frank shows up because I want him to be my best man. My second choice was Don, and Don's not going to make it. And Mr. Spees is in a nursing home, so he can't make it. Well, he went into a nursing home not because he, how do you say, he was falling. And he needed to be around, he needed to be in a situation where if he fell, there was going to be somebody to help him. He can still drive and things, or he could anyway. He just needed help because of the falling. Um, the one neighbor we went to, my Carolyn and I went to, that was home. I don't remember her name or her husband's name. And the other neighbor that didn't answer the door, um, I don't remember their names. So, you know, and the neighbors right next to my mother, I don't remember their names. They don't speak English. Well, the husband speaks some English, but the wife doesn't speak any English. And the other neighbor that used to live there, she's in Colorado now. And I would like to send her and her son an invitation, but I don't want to send it to Peyton's dad. Oh, my goodness, if Peyton's dad showed, showed up. That bad? He, he's, he drinks. Oh, boy, does he drink. I like to drink, but... Not like that. I can understand you wanting to drink on your, your wedding day. Yeah, well... <laughs> You're probably going to need one to calm your nerves down. <laughs> so, I mean... Well, you know, and it's probably going to be in the church bulletin that we're having a wedding. I don't know if we'll do that. Maybe we can ask them not to. Well, I was thinking of asking them to do it. Well... That way, maybe people would show maybe. up. I didn't know. But, um. That way. Okay. I don't know. I mean. I, I hope we have more than four or five people. Well, we'll take the cats and Lucky. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. And we can put the cats in the stroller. It's a pet stroller. He'll walk down the aisle. You know, Lucky will walk down the aisle. I was talking to one of our neighbors who lives up here. They have a dog in all three apartments over there. They have a 13-year-old, one of those miniature collies. And she has a two-year-old and some months child. And he was petting Lucky. She said, be careful. Don't let him get too close to Lucky. He's really rough with dogs. You know, he, he like he runs and tackles their dog. Oh. <laughs> yet he's thirteen or fourteen years old. The dog is. The dog's probably cool. Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> and then the guy who lives, I think, on the ground floor. I don't remember what kind. A Sheltie maybe is what kind of dog they have. But the guy who lives on the ground floor, he has like a. Um, Somebody has a chihuahua. Yeah, on the second floor, very. Uh, Talkative Chihuahua. <laughs> John, you want to say hi to everybody? Look right here, John. Hello, hello, people. Hey, hi. Wait oh, your ball, John. I think he saw himself. He kind of freaked himself out. Oh, John, you're not that much of a chicken. <laughs> but oh yeah, he's not a chicken. Believe me. Um, the I don't know who that other cat is. <laughs> <laughs> the guy on the ground floor, he has like a sheep dog or you know a cattle dog. Very active. And he comes over to Lucky, and, you know, Lucky wants to fight. Lucky doesn't actually go to bite. He growls. Yeah, he, he acts tough. You know, that dog, that, that, that dog, he, he's like, oh, yeah, you want to fight me? Let's play, let's play. You want to fight? Let's play, let's play. So, the Chihuahua, on the other hand. <laughs> he ran away that one night. Yeah, he did. He ran away. Lucky scared him. But um, but when he's up in the in his window, he's working at full let off. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, we walk by and he barks at us. But anyway, uh, now will Dr. Peskov and Dr. Burrell, will they show up? Probably not. I'm going to have to remind them who I am. So, I mean, I don't want there to be a hundred people at the wedding. That would be a bit much. More than three or four. <laughs> yeah, but I would like more than three or four people. I'm thinking 20, 20 to 35 people. That would be a good number. Well, remember, we've got to give the people at the clinic to invitate. Oh, yeah, that's right. Now you give them it. <coughs> now that she reminds me of, <coughs> excuse me, reminds me of that, they, some of them may show up. Now we're going to send the, the doctor up in Lebanon an uh, invitation. I don't know if he'll show, show up, but I mean, he's a very busy doctor. And he's oh, a very good doctor. Yes, he's a very good doctor. Uh, if you look at the scarring on my wife where he did the surgery, it looks good. I mean, I, I would argue some doctors would not have done such a good job. It, over time, it's going to go, more of it's going to go away, the, but it, it looks good. Um, I don't know, I just hope we have more than a handful of people. I guess that's all this video is really about, but anyway, thank you for your time. Have a good day.